Now that Super Smash Bros. has been announced as coming to the Switch, the number of reasons for me to keep my Wii U is rapidly diminishing. Anyway, um, excuse me, princess? What? Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is... is that... A fairy? Then, are you... are you from the forest? Then... then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? Yes, I do. <laughs> Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Um, Link, ma'am, your majesty. Or do they say mom as in ham? Link. Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please, keep this a secret from everyone. Hey, <laughs> there's the quote. Chug. The legend goes like this. A Legend of Zelda trope drinking game. Oh boy. The three goddesses hit the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Um, yes. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? <laughs> sure, why not? I can't wait to see what subtle racism awaits.
Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Oh. <laughs> the rumble feature goes off ever so slightly there. It's a nice touch. What happened? Did he see you? <laughs> Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. So, did you tell anyone else about this? Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please? Oh, you could be really mean here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you! I... I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it! You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. We converted a chicken into a letter! You received Zelda's letter. Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. Set it to C and show it with C. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to C left, C down, or C right. Yes, and then we can show it to people. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. Who are you talking about? Oh. Hello. Are you a ninja? <laughs> the Sheikah are sort of ninjas. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is as that is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Alright, we get to give this ocarina a whirl. You've learned Zelda's Lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle.
You brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up the before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. It's never helpful when it seems like an NPC is better equipped <laughs> for an epic journey than poor Link is. Whoa, whoopsie daisy. Funnily enough, the tune of Zelda's lullaby actually appeared first in A Link to the Past. Oh, I guess those rupees don't respawn. Oh well. Now, at some point we do want to go to Lon Lon Ranch. But we're going to go to Kakariko Village first. There are a good few little side quests that we can do in the village that will really equip us well <laughs> for the challenges of Death Mountain. We don't really have places like that, do we, in the real world? Oh yeah, I'm just going to walk across a bridge, pass through a village, and then I'm at Death Mountain. Or the Swamp of Evil. Or the Desolation of Smaug. And <laughs> you don't get anything like that nowadays. Oh well, this is unfortunate. I'm entering Kakariko Village just as the sun was setting, so naturally there's no music. That's unfortunate. How many gold skulls do we have, by the way? Five. Okay, if we can aim for at least ten, that would be good. Any tunes that you learn on the ocarina, you can replay here to practice. Um, for the time being though, I'm going to cut straight through the village and head for the graveyard. There is a new power that we can get in the graveyard that will mean that situations like this happen a little less frequently. And this is completely optional, this part by the way. At least in this game it is. At the back of Kakariko Village lies the graveyard. Rest in peace. Here lie the souls of those who swore fealty to the royal family of Hyrule. The Sheikah, guardians of the royal family and founders of Kakariko. Watch over these spirits in their eternal slumber. So graveyards are just common in general when it comes to RPGs, aren't they? And it's raining. Hey, it's raining outside for me too. The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. Yes, but what does this say? Royal family's tomb. Well, that is a hint if I ever saw it. Let's give this ocarina a whirl. If there are places where you're supposed to play the ocarina, this pops up.
you know, as if this game does not get enough praise, the way that some of these cutscenes are played out is pretty damn impressive. Also, is it just really good timing on my part that the <laughs> the windmill perfectly eclipses the sun? I'll take it. Now, there are many irrational fears that I've had over the years. Dogs, needles, certain enemies in video games. I wonder just how many of those are going to resurface when I come down here wearing headphones! Keese. They're basically bats. They can go down in one hit. Yup. Oh boy, the music. The faint rumble of enemies. There's more. This isn't a tomb. I mean, if this was a if this was really a tomb, you would place the bodies in a bit more respectful a position. This is what they call a mass grave. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstructed by the lurkers in the dark. Oh boy, yes they will. What's that, Navi? Shine lights on the living dead. Skeletons just spoke to me, guys. This is a kid's game, right? When I was like seven years old, these things used to terrify me. Those are re-deads. If you're moving very slowly, they're harmless, but if you move around a lot, then they will see you and they will paralyze you with a horrifying shriek. And given how finicky these controls are, I do not have much faith in my ability to stealth past a re-dead. Oh, it twitched. <laughs> Stabby stabby time! Oh no. Oh, Link somehow got past the re-dead there. That was not that was not fun. Let's see if I can trigger the screen. Come on. Oh, are they just not bothering with me now? Fine. They have some pretty strange behaviour. If one of their brethren dies, they will walk over to the corpse and lie around it. Oh. The corpse does take a while to fade away. Ugh. I hate them. Also, I noticed it just a little bit there. Will it happen here? That idle animation that Link just did there, it happens in very few places. Do any of these skeletons talk? No. I think we've had enough communicating with the dead to last me a lifetime. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest with the, to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the composer brothers.
This is really handy for progressing through the game. The Sun Song, if you play it at night, it turns to day, and if you play it at daytime, it turns to night. Perfect. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun's song. Yeah, so we now have a weapon against those pesky re-deads. Let's see it in action. Cooey! Still gives me chills. Yeah, <laughs> it freezes them. Oh no, 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 it got me, it got me. Bad touch, bad touch. Bad touch. Oh, bad touch. Also, this green stuff will hurt you. If you're coming through here the first time, you can run straight in a you can run in a straight line, and one of the re deads will scream, but it won't be able to reach you. Whoop! I guess that's my cue. Supposedly, the re deads are not actual corpses; they're manifestations of dark magic. It can bring you a little comfort in Super Smash Brothers Melee to pick them up and throw them. Or have Kirby eat them. Can Kirby do that? Also, the tombs of the Composer Brothers are these two here. If you inspect them, the Composer Brothers will appear and attack, but we're not going to bother with that. Now, one of these tombstones has a piece of heart within it. I'm just trying to rem trying best to remember which one it is. If you pull up the wrong tombstone, then a pole will appear. You defeated Poe the Ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? <laughs> you want to catch it, but you don't have an empty bottle. Yep. Okay, let's get the one we can definitely open. Pose will disappear usually if you Z target them. That wall in the back there is bombable. Behind it is a fairy fountain. But if you've not picked up a Hylian shield, you can get one from that treasure chest. It's a nice little freebie. Okay, come on, let's see if I can find this other grave. Oh, never mind, it was right here the whole time. <laughs> now, on a crummy CRT television, that little brown thing there would look like a treasure chest, right? Well, no, it's a redead. But bear with me here. Yeah! Yeah! Redeads might be frightening, but they're quite slow to spot you. <laughs> we got a piece of heart! As well as collecting heart containers from fallen bosses, you can pick up four pieces of hearts like this to get a brand new heart container. Okay, I have to do it. Yes! Being able to freely switch between day and night is also quite handy for looking for gold skulltalas because a lot of them only appear at night.
In fact, I can think of one right off the bat. No, two that we can get <laughs> since it's night time. Let's go do that right now. Actually, I stand corrected again. I can think of three. Oh. <laughs> I can hear them, but can I see them? Yes, there he is. Damn it. Yes, there we go. But is that only number six? Yes. But that's okay. This is progress. At the center of Kakariko Village here, there's a large observation tower. There's a gold skull hanging off the ladder. Oh wait, is there a fourth one as well? <laughs> let's let's see if I can remember. If it's not here now, it's probably going to be here later. <laughs> and last and least, there he is. I love how with so many of the enemies that you kill, they just, like, explode in a blinding flash. Could you imagine if you were swatting a fly or trapping a spider, and it just went... <laughs> Dazzling your kitchen as if you'd set off a magnesium flare. Yeah, there's something for your nightmares tonight. Adio. Oh, I made it! Nice! If you carefully side jump off the tower there as I did, you can talk to this guy a lot earlier than you should. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. I got a piece of heart. Woo! Okay, I think we've done pretty much everything we can do at night time. Let's play the sun song. Again, a nice remixed tune from A Link to the Past. Oh no! This is Andrew! What should I do? My cuckoos have all flown away! You little boy, please help me bring them back to this plan, this pen? Eh, uh, sure, why not? The only time I can ever think of when you do something and it's like you don't get a reward. <laughs> actually, I can actually I can think of a few times. I gotta catch six more. Okay. In Knights of in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, you can free the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk from slavers. Ah, oh, darn! I can't reach it. Quite, quite like that. I need another Kuko for help. Yeah, in Knights of the Old Republic, you can <laughs> you can free the Wookies from a sl from slavers and oh, get back here, Kuko, and you can put a worthy new leader in place. And he's like, "Well, thank you. I'm sure the I'm sure the the honor and praise and satisfaction of helping us free our people is enough." And you, then you can just respond with, "Um." No, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't fill my pockets with credits. Adio. The way that Kukos flap around, you can use them to <laughs> jump further. Now you can throw Kukos around, you can throw them in water, you can throw them into bottomless pits, but whatever you do, do not attack them, alright? Kukos are your friend. You can shoot all the crows you want, but you never shoot a mockingbird. I mean a cuckoo. Well, I'll have to do it once, but only because I really need to. Not now, Navi. I know Hyrule's at stake, but I gotta save these cuckoos. 
I was playing the DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn recently, and at the very start of that, you get a call from one of your allies being like, um, Aloy, you know how we've got the world to save? Why are you off doing this other thing? And Aloy's just like, oh, I didn't realize you were still keeping an eye on me. And just, <laughs> she just sort of shrugs it off. So yeah, there's a little bit of a puzzle involved here. You need some cuckoos in order to reach others. But since Navi is trying to talk to us, let's see if I can do this. Yes! <laughs> Through there is a dungeon. <laughs> but we're not going to go there yet. This is an odd quirk that can be used for sequence breaking where if you jump at a ledge, climb up it and then immediately mash B to do your jump attack. Link will step back a little bit, and when he does that, he sort of drops off the edge of the platform. During that time, if you try and talk to Navi, Link starts the conversation, but he drops back again. Right, where did that cuckoo go? There it is. He will try and talk to Navi, so he'll step back a little bit, and then he just falls. <laughs> if Even if you're in a body of water, the game hasn't clocked on yet that you're in water, and so Link will just fall to the bottom and listen to Navi. But as soon as you hit the A button, Link will start swimming. But during that time, you can do what I did there to get to places that are too deep underwater to reach conventionally. So you can do it there to get into the bottom of the well, as it's appropriately called. Or you can use it in the Lost Woods for a sequence break as well. <laughs> the way the Kukos flail around, you would think I'm doing something really horrible to them. And they're losing a lot of feathers, they must be stressed. They probably are stressed. This random fairy boy just walks up and yoink! And then tries to fly with them. I actually feel bad for them though. You know, it occurs to me that in Breath of the Wild, the cuckoos are blue. There's a special blue cuckoo that you can get in this game called Kojiro. Maybe they're all descended from Kojiro. Oh, but let's <laughs> let's not start let's let's not open that Pandora's box. So far as I know, we're not completely certain yet where Breath of the Wild fits in the timeline. Because yes, however crazy it might be, there is a Legend of Zelda timeline. All these games fit together somehow. Apart from the CDI games, we do not speak of those. I've got one left. What? Where is it? Oh boy. Did I leave one here? Yes, there he is. <laughs> and it's a shame too because they bait you. There's a hidden hole on the other side of that fence. And if you go down the hole, the cuckoos go back to their original positions. This is worth it though, bear with me. Hello? Thank you for finding my cuckoos! I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Then why do you hurt cuckoos? For helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass and should prove useful. Please take good care of it. It's a bottle! After you put something in this bottle, Set it to see when you want to use the item inside. 
Bottles, again, have been around in the Zelda games for quite a while. Again, Breath of the Wild was one of the few games to not have bottles. Which is a shame because it would actually prove useful. <laughs> bottles, you can store potions, you can store water, you can store insects, you can store fairies, you can perform glitches, you can deflect evil spells. There's a lot you can do with bottles. Oh, we're at nine Skultula. Ugh. Okay, I suppose there is one last thing that we can do in Kakariko before we round things off. These carpenters are just running around <laughs> like madmen, trying to get something built. This guy! My man! What does he say if you just talk to him normally? The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? No, I spoke to you first because I'm a human. Eh? Oh, I see. You're just a kid. And you can't read yet. <laughs> oh, do you know what I think of your sign? No passage without a royal decree. You know, I'm still not completely certain what Zelda's letter actually says. Oh? This is... this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. <laughs> this is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Da <laughs> What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favour of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the happy mask shop that just opened in Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. It's hard to believe that because it's not open until you talk to this guy. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have the time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but well, I have no choice. This is my job. Sigh. Well, we could actually go back and help him. We will have to go back to market at some point. The mask side quests? Yes, there's a whole side quest behind this. I may start it soon, but I will not finish it until later. Simply because the reward is greater the more you hold it off. Or the more you hold off finishing it. <laughs> If that doesn't make sense, it will in time. It will in time. So I don't. Th I don't think there's much else for us to do in Kakariko Village for now. We got the bottle. We got the Sun Song. We've opened the Happy Mask Shop. I think we're good for next time. Navi was asking, what would Saria say if she knew that we were off to save Hyrule? Well, for good reason, we should go and find that out. Or will we? <laughs> no, we'll save that for the next, next time. Next time in Ocarina of Time, we are going to Lon Lon Ranch. My name is Andy Formal. 
I can't get down, so all I can do is look at Death Mountain. I did not know you could chat to the guy when he was up there. <laughs> there you go, learning something new already.